Hello everyone. Today let's learn how to find the mean of group data. So friends in this example here is the class interval column and this is the frequency column. Now the formula is mean or x bar is sigma fx divided by sigma f. Now friends before we can use this formula we need two more columns. So the first column is the x column. Now what is x? x is nothing but the mean or the middle value. So we find x by adding the upper limit and the lower limit and dividing it by 2. So for the first class interval, we have 35 plus 40 and divided by 2 friends. So 35 plus 40 is 75 divided by 2 which will give you the answer is 37.5 and this is your x value for the first class interval. So friends this way you can find the x value for all the class intervals but usually an easier method is used. So after finding the x value for the first class interval in this way just find out the class size. So any class interval say suppose 45 to 50 what will be the class size? Up Upper limit minus the lower limit which is 50 minus 45 that is 5 just add this 5 to this x value friends so 37.5 plus 5 you will get 42.5 and this will be your next x value so it's a very easy method similarly just add 42.5 to 5 you will get 47.5 then you will get 52.5 and 57.5 so this way you will get the x values for all the class intervals now we need to add one more column called the fx column so in this column we simply multiply the f value and the x value for all the class interval. So friends for the first class interval I will simply multiply 7 and 37.5. So save time I have already done all the calculations where I have multiplied the f value and the x value. So let's quickly note it down. So here I have 262.5 then I have 255.0 and friends one thing to be noted is that you need to place the decimal point one below the other and also the digits one below the other. So this way your next step will be very easy. So let's quickly copy down these are all the fx values that we have. Now let's come back to the formula sigma fx divided by sigma f. So what is this sigma? Sigma is just a Greek symbol which means addition. So sigma fx means you are going to add all the fx values. So let's quickly do that. Now that you have arranged everything properly the addition will be very simple. So here we have a 0, a decimal point, 0, 8, 3 and 1. So the addition is 1380. Similarly, we need sigma f also. So let's add this. You will get the answer is 30. So friends, now that we know what are the sigma fx and sigma f value, let's quickly substitute in the formula. We will get mean as 1380 divided by 30. Now the 0 and 0 will cancel and this will go in 3 stable, 3 4s are 12 and 3 6s are 18. So that means the mean for this group data is 46. Friends, I hope that you found the video useful. If so, do like and share the video and consider subscribing to Enjoy Math. Please do leave your comments in the comment section below. So till we meet again, take care.